So for all my immigrant knowledge seekers, let's get down to it. So a few days ago, this is what the, the, the people of Wheatsluck uh, County had to say about these immigrants passing by. And these are the ones that in the beginning was helping these these people. And now they're like, you know what, we don't want them here. Hold on, right here, start right here. La incesante llegada de migrantes extranjeros ya generó molestia e irritación social en Chiapas. Al principio eran bienvenidos, ahora son rechazados y hasta vistos como un riesgo para la salud y la tranquilidad social. Vecinos y comerciantes ya no quieren apoyarlos. So, what I've been always telling you, like, yeah, one time, maybe two times, but depending on how they're coming and, and how, obviously, like, the vibe and what, what they see in them, right? Well, lately, obviously... They always pass through there, so they know what type of people these people are, and these people are sick of it. I mean, you just seen you just seen the video right here, just like you seen the video in Guatemala where they're partying at like three o'clock in the morning. Like, there's people that are sleeping that have to go to work, that have productive lives, and these people are just passing by, disrespecting without having the the you know consciousness that you know what maybe these people need to go to sleep or or we're being too loud. Like, come on, it's obvious they don't have they don't have that. Social skill, I guess, to, to or you know what that care. Sorry, what social skill? Porque viene gente maleante. Se van unos, pero quedan los maleantes. Muchos asaltos, robos a tiendas. Ahorita, pues, ya, ya lo agarraron de planta, pues, que cada seguido quieren estar entrando. Y como ahorita, últimamente, ya no se les ha dado ayuda. Se, hasta eso se molesta. Tal grado llegado. All right, so the guy, the guy in the beginning said that you know what? Well. There's bad ones that come, and the bad ones are the ones that mostly stay right here. Like right here, our crime is, is going up. A lot of people are stealing now. And then the the next scene where the lady was talking, she was saying that you know what, like these people they're coming and coming, and like they're just passing by. But at the same time, like they're really just like they're being a new like they're being a problem right here. Like there's a lot of people that that we start we stopped feeding them, and then they even took it to heart. Like oh, the hell? like they started getting grumpy over that that they weren't feeding them. Like what the hell? Like, you guys know what you guys are coming here for, like, and know the risks. Like, what the hell? It's, it's not Mexico's obligation to feed you guys. La inconformidad ciudadana que el alcalde de Huixla ha propuesto que las caravanas de migrantes ya no entren al municipio. Desde un inicio eh, hubo el apoyo total de la ciudadanía, pero conforme se iban dando frecuentemente, pues ya causó molestia. He sugerido yo a ir por ahí con varias autoridades. So he said that the people in the beginning were like, you know what, okay, they're mellow with it. But then after a while, more and more people came, and then obviously people started to notice that, you know what, this is bad for our, bad, bad for our area, for our county, for our cities. So the now that they're seeing this, like they're, they're, they want to prevent this from happening in their county now. Que se hagan albergues temporales, pero que sean albergues temporales fuera de la ciudad. So they want to make. They want to make. Um, All right. So he just said that they want to make shelters, but the shelters they want to make them out of the city. Like they don't want to make them inside the city. Out of the city. No están mejor. Los apoyos ciudadanos a los albergues para migrantes se han reducido drásticamente. Comenta Olga Sánchez. En el albergue que dirige actualmente duermen unos 500 migrantes. Nosotros vendemos pan en las iglesias en todas las parroquias y ya no se vende como antes. Okay, so that is very important right there. So she said that, you know what, they sell bread right there. It's like a, like a, like a, I forgot what it's called right now, but so I'll figure it out later. <laughs> there is a lot of people that used to buy there and they don't buy there no more because they know that the money is used to help the people in the shelter. And in the shelter, guess what? It's all just migrants. It's all Central American migrants. Los que llegan a Chiapas ya no son únicamente centroamericanos. Ahora también hay africanos, asiáticos, cubanos y haitianos principalmente. The mother caravan. Esta situación incrementa los riesgos de una emergencia sanitaria, dice el director de salud de Huistla. Pero sí, por supuesto que este, el flujo de migración, de, de migrantes de todos lados, implica un riesgo para la salud. Eh, hace dos meses más o menos estuvo muy fuerte lo del sarampión, la varicela y, este, y el dengue. Alright, so they, 
I'm gonna just say it like that. There's a lot of viruses, a lot of infections that were there when they started having this rise of, of migrants, you know, right, reaching into the border into Mexico, and that they had to start curing all of them because obviously they don't want to have a breakout. So, yeah, they were they were bringing in all that in here. Yeah, like Llegó hace dos semanas a Chiapas. Dice que al principio le regalaban agua. Ahora tienen que comprarla. Tiene que pagar 10 pesos. Si uno no tiene 10 pesos, queda por... So before that, you're wondering why she's screaming. Let me just tell you right now. So in the beginning, they, they, were, they would give them all water. And now, like, they have to buy their own water. And she's tripping out because <laughs> it costs... I mean, yeah, it's money they don't have. But still, like I said, they should have known that this was going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, oh my god, man. Ropa sucia. Ahora no hay nada. Nada, nada. Pero si yo no trabajo, ¿cómo yo voy a comer? It work. She said, if I don't work, then how would I eat? But I'm saying, like, work. Right? All right, let's not focus on her. Let's just, let's just, yeah. Well, that's the story on the migrants so far in, in Chapas down there. I mean, that's what's going on. I'll see what else picks up. I'm pretty sure more is going to pick up. It's, it's on its way over here, the way. <laughs>